Have you ever seen a panda do a backflip? No, neither have I actually, but it'd be quite cool. It might not be Easter, but these things are still damn yummy. Looks good. That is quite good. That was some very good stuff. But not as good as new stuff. Welcome to new stuff. Two taser rings this week, but both very different stories. An investigation has been launched of why a police officer tasered a teenager, although they were running onto a baseball pitch. The 17-year-old jumped the fence and then got tasered on the pitch for running round. I think the policeman was just being lazy as he couldn't be bothered to chase him, especially as all he had on him was literally the clothes and a baseball cap. Unfortunately, the 44,000 fans in attendance didn't do a Mexican wave when he got tasered because that would have just been amazing. But that wouldn't be as amazing of why the second taser story happened. A ten-year-old girl was making a bit of a fuss, so the police were called in to sort out the disturbance. Now, when he arrived, the policeman said, the girl was curling up on the floor, screaming and shouting, because she didn't want to have a bath. The mother was trying to make her bath, and the policeman suggested to the girl that it would be a good idea. In return, it got a nice kick in the balls. But don't worry, friendly policeman, you can taser her, apparently. While it probably shouldn't be laughed at, it probably was quite funny to watch. And lastly, but not least, a 69-year-old woman from South Korea has finally passed her driving test. Woo! Miss Sa Son, pictured here, spent over 4 million won. Apparently that's around 3,500 grand. But she finally passed her license. How many times did it take her? 960. Third time lucky didn't work for her. But it does prove if you keep at something, eventually, and I mean eventually, that you can do it. That's enough from new stuff, on with the vlog. So, you like Obama. You have his poster on your wall. Then, you went out and bought a bobblehead of him. Then, you attached a bobblehead onto the poster, so you have a poster with a bobblehead. And you're wondering what next Obama thing to get. Look no further, now you can get one of... these? Yes, ladies out there, if you wanted Obama, like that, you can now have him, like that, in two different colours, in democratic blue and presidential gold. They may look cheeky, but they're not supposed to go in that side. Now for word of the week. Blake Fulagall, or something like that, posted the word. Vlapnas. Now, while this obviously is an actual word, not many of you out there know what it means. Now, it's a combination of many different things. Vlap and nas. Now, nas is just a way of sort of saying nah. So, you're just saying no quite a bit. Now, the other section of the word is a bit more complicated because it's got many different things bundled together. Now, if you're talking on MSN a lot and you can't be like, bothered to type out very, you just say V. Although in this context, it doesn't quite mean very, it means sort of really, really sort of very-ish. LARPs is a loser who always plays the harp. So basically, the word is if someone who's really, really such a loser because they always play the harp asks you a question and you say no to them and this happens more than twice. Now I stress this definition, it has to happen more than twice that this very big loser who only plays the harp and does nothing else with his life asks you a question. Only after two questions may you say Vlapners. This basically is a secret code word which actually stitches his mouth together. So that's a warning to all of you really big losers out there who play the harp. Don't ask more than two silly questions. Please comment another word for next week in the comment section up there if you're in Australia. A quick question, I've tried to do something with the camera. Is it in better quality? Is my voice? Synced. 
I really hope it is. Fingers crossed. More fingers crossed. Arms crossed too. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. I've been... Satisfaction. Thanks for watching. Peace.